All right, everybody, here we are. This is Mr. Butcher showing you how to graph uh, DNA gel electrophoresis data on a semi-log graph paper. So you can see here we have uh, along the x-axis distance traveled in millimeters and on the y-axis uh, size in base pairs. That's how we measure the size of DNA. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start back here. Um, this is our Hindi 3 digestion. Uh, these are the known sizes of the bands that we see, and I measured them out pretty roughly at 6 millimeters, 8 millimeters, 10 millimeters, and 16 millimeters. Now, the more precise I am with those measurements, the closer I'm going to get when, and a better graph. But just for simple purposes, I'm going to say 6, 8, 10, and 16. So my first band was at 6 millimeters and about 23,000 base pairs. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to find 6 millimeters right here. And then look, I've got 1,000, 10,000. There's 20,000. That's 30,000. So 23,000 would be a point somewhere around here. I'm going to go back again. My next uh, band was at uh, 8 millimeters, and that's about 9,400 base pairs. So I'm going to come back here, 8 millimeters, 9,400. So there's, uh, there's 8,000, 9,000, 9,400 is going to be somewhere right in here. Okay, head back again. My next band was at 10 millimeters, and that's about 6,500 base pairs. So I come back 10, there's 6,500, it'd be somewhere in here. And my last band was about 16 millimeters, and it's the smallest band, that's why I moved the farthest on the gel. It's about 4,300, so I'm gonna say Let's see, 16, and that was 4,300. Oh, goodness. Things are going good until that line. So a uh, little bit off. So I'd like to see this to be a straight line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make a best fit line that kind of gives the average of all of those. Now, all, not all dots need to be on there. Um, maybe a little bit steeper here something like this and that gives me my standard line uh, so how i use this is now if i come back over here and i look at my uh, bands from the eco ri cut i can now estimate how big they are based on the distance they ran so that first one was at about six millimeters so i know it's probably somewhere around you know, 23,000. I can go look on here. So six millimeters. If I come up, six millimeters is just over 20,000. So that's band one. Uh, my second band was at 9.5 millimeters. So if I go 9.5, where does that hit? That hits somewhere up here around 10 maybe about uh, 11,000, I'll put 11,000 base pairs. And then my last one, well, I already forgot what that said. That said 11 millimeters. So I'm gonna go 11 and that hits right here, which looks like it's about 8,000, maybe 8,500 base pairs. All right, and so that gives me an indication of about how big those bands are. Remember, the smallest fragments of DNA are going to travel the farthest. Uh, the largest fragments are going to travel the shortest. Um, if we had run our gels a little bit longer, these numbers would be spread out, uh, and that would maybe give us a little more precision. But this is a nice rough estimation. Now, you can practice on these numbers, or you can build your own. Um, and that's how you graph uh, on the semi-log paper.